Sleep, something we all dream about. The National Sleep Foundation recommends that teenagers get approximately nine hours of sleep a day. In reality, that's a different story. Why do teenagers have a hard time waking up so early in the morning and going to bed earlier? Many people have the wrong assumption that teens go to bed late because they're spending time on Facebook or doing it just to spite their parents. However, this is not the case. Adolescents are on a later sleep-wake cycle because of a change in their circadian rhythms during puberty, meaning that they naturally get tired later and wake up later. Therefore, school should start later because the current early school starting times negatively affects teenagers in school performance and in their health. Waking up for school so early is honestly like the only one thing that I don't like about school is because like I'm so tired throughout the whole day and it would just be a lot better if I didn't have to wake up so early. I agree. I hate waking up early for school. I don't like waking up for school because I'm up really late doing homework so then I feel like I don't get enough sleep that I should. Uh, I, I, when I walk into school at 7, 7.15, and I see the kids in the hall, half of them are sleeping. So uh, they're just getting up. Um, usually in the morning, I'm, I can't like put my all into my morning class because I'm usually still like really tired or not on my game. Yeah, in certain classes, definitely. Like yeah. when we're like reading or something. I'll yeah, play. like a lot of times the teacher will be like, why do you look so tired? Like, wake up, and I'm like, well, we woke up at like six in the morning. Yeah. Like it's really hard to stay awake in some classes, especially the boring ones. Teens don't fall asleep only because they are bored in class, but because they are simply exhausted. If they were just bored, they could find ways to entertain themselves. However, this is not the case, and students find themselves falling asleep even in some of the most exciting classes. Occasionally fall asleep in my class. I actually even had one boy fall asleep in my class while I was being observed by my principal. Uh, humiliating. But, um, but yes, is as exciting as I try to make the math, it can happen once in a while that somebody will fall asleep. No. Because Miss Lane like, keeps you like entertained, you know? She like does things like... Grades go down as well when students have less sleep because they are more tired and unable to concentrate as well. They are more prone to make mistakes and will miss things in class if they can't pay attention. And sometimes, like, I'll, you know, I'll wake, up, I'll wake myself up or whatever for my morning classes, and then sometimes by third or fourth period, it'll kind of kick in that I haven't had enough sleep. And I'll, sometimes in my fourth period class history, it's like, it can be like a little bit more, like a lot boring sometimes. And I'll like fall asleep. And then I don't pay attention because I'm sleeping. And then I get a bad grade. I think it's bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm like failing all of my classes. As far as students are concerned, which we're really we're talking about education, uh, I think it, it would be better <coughs> to start an hour later. They're much more alert at that time and they're ready to, they're ready to go to work. Sometimes in math, uh, miss in math, sometimes I will doze off a little bit, but I try not to. Yes. Like, the class that's boring that I always fall asleep in is my lowest grade. I, I don't know. When we're, like, reading or getting lectured, I always fall asleep. I think the mo if, if I got more sleep, then... I would, again, have more energy and probably not procrastinate as much because with more energy, you're less lazy and that laziness causes procrastination, I think. So, I don't know, my grades would probably be better too. Outside of school, teenagers are still just as affected by the early school start times. 
Health and safety are put in jeopardy when they don't get enough sleep. That includes problems physically, psychologically, and emotionally. It probably would be a good idea if the school starts later for the high school kids so they can get enough sleep. Their biological rhythm is changes. They usually, when they're in elementary school or middle school, they do wake up early in the morning. And as the circadian rhythm changes, uh, they tend to go to sleep later and their bodies need to wake up also later. So it would be great if the school will start probably around 8, 8.30 in the morning, they will be more awake, their grades will be better, uh, there is less chance of them getting into the accidents, especially for the 12th graders who are driving to school. And there have been a big movement in the medical society uh, try to change the school schedule. And s in quite a few communities, mostly in the Midwest, the time change was made and high school does start later. So hopefully it will catch around the whole country and the and they just will get enough sleep. Um, <clears throat> so on days that I don't have a lot of homework and I don't feel stressed out, um, I come home and I'm a procrastinator. So even if it's due the day after the next day, I don't do it until the next day. Um, so I come home, I obviously eat because I'm starving. Um, I relax for a little bit because I just came home from school. I end up falling asleep on the couch because my body just gets so tired and I can't keep my eyes open. So I fall asleep on the couch and by the time anybody gets home, it's like 6, 6.30. And when I wake up then, it's, it's about like a two hour nap that I've had. Um, I take a nap when I get home. Yeah, well not every day, but like I'd say like once or twice a week I take a nap just to catch up on some sleep. And it's usually like four hours. So then I can't fall asleep later. And even though I'm doing my homework up until one o'clock, and then I can fall asleep at two, it's four hours of sleep. Um, <laughs> yeah, I take one like four days a week. Like, I'm like three to seven, get, a, get up in time for Jeopardy. Yeah, like the, the days that I do take a nap, I like sleep so much that I don't even do my homework. Yeah, because then like, Cause, like napping I and then you have like the, the few hours in between your nap and then going to sleep. No, no, then it's like, groggy. like I wake up, like I get home from school and fall asleep like immediately and then sleep to like eight and then I'll shower and then just go to sleep again. Yeah. And then um, when, I do, when I do have a lot of homework and I know I have a project, I'm overwhelmed, I'm stressed out and I haven't gotten much sleep previously because everything just keeps like going over itself, like a snowball effect. So you don't get enough sleep Monday night. You feel, sh can I curse? Yeah. <laughs> you feel <laughs> shitty Tuesday. And then you feel shitty Tuesday, you have a lot of homework, you don't get enough sleep Tuesday, and it just gets worse and worse as the week goes on. So by Wednesday, Thursday, I end up going home whenever I do get home after school. Um, I wait for my mom to get home, and then I go to bed, six or seven o'clock. Um, there's way less distractions, because all my friends are awake until 11, and I'm distracted by that when I'm trying to do my homework. So I go to bed before anybody can even start talking to me. Um, I wake up at two or three, I put an alarm on, and then I sit down and do my homework with absolutely no distractions. And it usually works out unless I miss my alarm. And then it's bad. Cause I'm tired. Yeah. I nap every day. Well, almost. Well, not every day, but a lot because I'm so tired. Yeah, like I feel like I fall asleep right away when I'm taking a nap. Like you shouldn't fall asleep right away in the middle of the day. That shouldn't be easy to do, you know, yeah. unless you're exhausted. And so why are you exhausted? Because school's too early. Yeah. Like, if we didn't have to get up so early, we wouldn't be taking so many naps. It just doesn't make sense. Like, if it's if this if it's causing you to go home and sleep for four hours, then why are we? You shouldn't, um, it's just stupid. Teens are also negatively affected psychologically. Adolescents are more likely to be depressed, angry, sad, and mentally exhausted. This also decreases sociability and optimism, along with an increased risk of various diseases. Risk of heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and obesity. Yeah, I feel like I'm always sick because 
we don't have enough sleep and then like the nights when i do get a lot of sleep like over break and stuff like over like christmas breaks or like summer i'm always like never sick because i'm getting enough sleep all the time yeah um how does it affect uh, affect them on a health perspective is kids who are chronically tired don't have the attention span that they normally would they have acne they have social problems where they're um, a little intolerant to their, you know, fellow classmates if they're tired. They don't, um, they're not as, um, what do I want to say, patient with them. They might fly off the handle a little bit easier. They do have sleep problems because when you're chronically tired, you don't really sleep in a normal sleep pattern. You're at risk for picking up the flu. You're at risk for picking up mono, a uh, little bit of depression, anxiety. Sleep is a completely underrated thing here. You know, our kids are so used to not getting eight to 10 hours of sleep at night, they've learned how to adapt. Being tired at the end of the day, um, you obviously don't want to go out. You may want to see your friends as much as you want to, but you're just so tired, you'd rather sleep. So, I wouldn't say my social life is non-existent, but um, because I do procrastinate and I do favor enjoying life as much as I can right now, I do go out even if I have homework and stuff and I just decide to do it the next day. And, um, but overall, if there was less homework, if I was able to get more sleep, um, I would probably have a much more active social life because I'd be more energetic, I'd be more willing to make new friends, um, I don't know, make plans, like be assertive about it. But without sleep, I kind of lose that assertion and assertiveness. And, <laughs> and you just lose motivation, like you, you lose all that energy inside of you and uh, you don't really want to go out and do anything. Extra sleep and later starting times is not only a complaint for students, however. Dr. Piragovsky is a pediatrician at Spring Lake Pediatrics who sees sleepy students on a regular basis and is concerned with their health. Definitely not. About 15% of the teenagers in U.S. get required nine and a quarter hours of sleep. The rest definitely don't. There are multiple problems uh, when the kids don't get enough sleep, including um, they get very tired and cranky, uh, their social skills goes down, uh, the grades in school also not as good, they're not able to participate in sports. And they, they are participating in sports, but they're not able to do their best. Uh, there are also multiple medical problems. Um, it's been shown that the risk of obesity is going up in the kids who don't get enough sleep because they also don't eat at the right time, and then they live on junk trying to keep them awake. Um, there is also problems with them getting sick um, because the immunity goes down. What happens when we sleep, the white blood cells producing, our body's producing white blood cells, the cells that fight the infection, and when you don't get enough sleep, your ability to fight the infection goes down. There is also a couple of recent studies showing that there is increased risk of diabetes and heart problem when you don't get enough sleep. There is conclusive evidence that the early school starting times affect teenagers negatively, so school administrators should make the school day start at least an hour later for the benefit of the students as well as the faculty and parents. Many teenagers do not get enough sleep, mainly because school starts too early. Better rested adolescents are healthier, more alert, and have a smaller chance of getting injuries. They also have higher performance in school and better cognitive abilities. If the school day were to start later, teens would be much more rested and therefore all of those things would be true. As Thomas Stecker once said, sleep is the golden chain that ties health and our bodies together. Even though it might be difficult to do, high school starting times need to be pushed back and start later. But for now, sweet dreams.